Good evening, Rams fans, and welcome to the week one edition of the Rams Pre-Match Report. My name is Davis Van Opdorp, coming to you from Dana-Farber Fieldhouse here in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Below me, the real Boston Rams are making their final preparations for the 2014 season opener at Veterans Stadium in Quincy, Massachusetts, where they will take on the Vermont Voltage. The wait is finally over. The Rams players will trade practice shirts for uniforms as they open their second season in the USL PDL. It is the first full match as a team, but midfielder Ruben Rosendez is not worried about the team dynamic. I think it'll play out well. Uh, we have players that similar qualities, uh, similar characteristics in most of our players. Uh, we all like to play uh, good footy. You know, we want to keep the ball on the ground, play an attractive brand, uh, technical brand of soccer. Um, definitely going to try and keep the ball, build out of the back. You know, the, the most important thing is that everyone's on the same page. Um, we've only had three or four sessions, uh, but it looks pretty good. You know, most guys look sharp. Um, you know, it's not mostly about results in that first match. Uh, I think we're just trying to go out and uh, put in a good performance. The Rams played their final friendly this week, a scrimmage against the U18 Revolution Academy team. Maxine Hopino, one of several Rams hopefuls, scored both goals in the match. The one slot fully secure is the goalkeeper. Kiesel Broom named the starter this week. He believes the team is ready to live up to its high expectations. Well, I mean, expectations are high um, from the organization itself, and I think there's like this pressure that's put on us just because it's players. Um, I think it's going to be interesting being our first game and playing together, but I think the most crucial thing is we need to get, come out with three points. Now I'm going to bring you my first weekly conversation with new Rams head coach Hobie Hare, who will be coaching his first USL PDL match on Saturday. Okay, coach, let's get right into it. Your first USL PDL match. What are your thoughts coming into the first match against the Voltage? Uh, well, first is exciting. Um, I think it's great that we've had, you know, again, a lot of months uh, to try and get ready for this. So I think we're the, once we get all the boys uh, up and registered and ready to go, I think we'll feel more, much more comfortable on Wednesday. Uh, but we're good. I think the kids are excited. Um, and I think obviously anytime it's a new venture, I think it's just going to take a little time to everybody get real comfortable as far as on the field stuff. Uh, but off the field, we've, we've done well. It's a really good group of kids. I think it's exciting and they're going to play well. Now, fitness is something that you focused on a lot this week. That's definitely going to be something going into the first game. What are your thoughts on how the fitness level is going to be of this team in this first match? Well, it's a good question. Um, I think everybody at their different and respective universities where they're coming from, and a couple guys obviously are, are, have graduated or are into jobs, uh, which makes it a little more difficult for them. But for the guys who are in school, they have a pretty good level of fitness. And it's not, again, I've said it to them many times, this is not my job to get them fit. Um, I need to make sure that they're tactically and technically aware and ready to go. They're, they're in schools, they're periodization programs, so that's where those guys need to go. But if they're real players and they're guys that we're looking at, um, certainly uh, for the first team, potentially, you know, down the line, they understand they need to take care of business on their own and being fit is going to be part of that. Now, this is the first time this team has played together. You've got a lot of different parts from a lot of different places. How do you think the team dynamic is going to play out on the field? Well, I think we have a lot of leaders in some very good positions. Um, I think Ruben Resendez is somebody who, you know, he's been around the block. He's, he's played in uh, overseas. He's had, he's got a lot of experience, even though he's young. Uh, but there are a lot of guys who, again, th it helps to have some continuity with the Revs Academy. So these kids, have, it's not just that they're stepping on the field for the first time, but if you have three and four or five guys from the Revs Academy who are going to play in this game Saturday, they all know each other. They played through a lot of games, and uh, it, it'll be more comfortable than you think. But uh, like anything, it just takes a little bit of growing pains. People may get a little nasty on each other, um, demanding things from each other, but that's all part of it. And that's what uh, it's all about growing up. Well, that will do it for the week one edition of the Rams pre-match report. Be sure to check out our Real Boston Rams Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Real Boston Rams. Also, we at the Rams are trying to put together a YouTube stream of Saturday's match against the Vermont Voltage, so be sure to check out all the latest on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Real Boston Rams. For all of us at the Rams, my name is Dave Zvinopdorp. We hope to see you on Saturday. Have a good night.